Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mark from Spantacular.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Arcos 5 Internet Tablet. This is going to be the 16 gigabyte model we're discussing. Uh, before we show you the device, as always, we want to say thank you to the folks at Arcos for sharing their great device with us and allowing us to share it with you. We appreciate you guys very much. Now, with that said, let's see the device. That's the Arcos 5 Internet Tablet, and look at that screen. Isn't that nice? Uh, the Arcos 5 Internet Tablet features a near 5 inch high resolution screen. It's capable of 720p output, so you can watch high definition video on it. Uh, it features built in Wi Fi, expandable memory, it accepts uh, micro SD cards. As a matter of fact, let's show you the docks here. This slot here is for your memory cards. These two ports are for a uh, DVR docking station. That's so separately. Uh, that also gives you the option to record your favorite television programming and take it on the go with you. Now, the device itself, let's talk about what we like about it, and then we'll get into some of the things that we didn't care for as much. We really, really, really like the screen. As you can see, uh, it's near five inches. It's very bright. It's very rich. It's, it's really impressive. Uh, it's excellent for watching movies and, and videos on the go. YouTube videos also played really well on the device um, when browsing the web. It was really, really crisp. It was really nice. And th that was something that we really, really did like. Uh, it has Android as its operating system. It's running 1.6, which is Donut, as some of you may know it. Uh, it does have access to the Android Marketplace. There's a wide variety of applications you can download and install directly to the device. So that's an added plus. Uh, the Wi-Fi uh, networking is really simple with a sense setup. You have a Linux setup here, worked fine. Uh, Windows setup works fine. Mac support works fine. So you just pretty much sign into your network, and there's your media. It's right there. You can access it on the fly and on the go. It's really quick. It's really crisp. Another thing we liked, it's got a kickstand. So. If you're an Evo user, you know all about the kickstand. Set it up on your desk. Works like a portrait, kind of, or like a, not a portrait, but works kind of like a picture frame. Uh, you can watch your media right there, and you can just set it down. You don't have to hold it in your hands. Another thing, standard audio jack, no proprietary stuff here. You can pretty much use whatever headset you want, well, headphones that you want, and sound quality is really, really good. So those are the things we really, really liked. Um, the web browsing is pretty, pretty decent when comparing to any other mobile device that we've experienced so far. Uh, there is flash support, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, some of the things that we didn't care for with the device, uh, it does have a touch screen uh, input, and it was a little bit sticky, laggy at times, not as responsive as what we're accustomed to. So that, that could use some tweaking. We calibrated the device on many different occasions to see if we can improve it. And sadly, it was a little laggy at times. So keys kind of stick. It takes a little getting used to. But it's something we can overlook. Uh, the battery life could be better. And when we say better, it's not terrible, but it's not great. We played a couple of movies here, and we let it stay off the charger for a while. We went back to test it, battery was almost gone. So if you're gonna do some heavy video watching, you may wanna pack an extra charger or take the charger to the office with you. It's something you may wanna consider if you're looking into a device like this. Uh, another thing, when I said flash support, it's more like a flash light. It's not full up-to-date flash. We couldn't play Hulu videos. Um, some, some websites did not display properly. So it's, it's pretty much on par with any other mobile device that we've experienced. It's not full flash, but it's more of a flashlight. A lot of Android users uh, that, that have devices that have flashlight, they're kind of familiar with that. So that's, that's, those are the drawbacks with the device. Uh, it's competitively priced. This is the 16 gig model. It comes in at about 300 bucks or less if you do your homework online. Um, the moonlighting as a DVR, that's an excellent feature. We love that. That display, though, that's what really, really sells us on this device. It's not an iPad killer, but 
with that display, the device being portable. I mean, look how it fits in my hand. I don't have gigantic hands either, but it fits in my hand just fine. You can throw this thing in your pocket, and it's just a really good multimedia device. So if you're not trying to, if you're not stressing about, you know, an app for this, an app for that, and you're looking for something more along the lines of something you want to be able to take movies with, with you on the go and take your music with you and just have everything with you, this might be a good alternative for you. You know, it didn't it didn't blow us away, but it didn't press. And it's something you might want to consider. The price isn't too bad uh, for what you get. And if you're a casual web surfer, it's, it's also something you can sit on the couch with, watch YouTube videos, uh, bid on eBay auctions, Google things, use the Wikipedia app if you're into the whole Wikipedia scene. Check your Facebook, that sort of thing. So we, we, we give this device the nod, but um, just not quite the iPad killer that we're all hoping to see. So with that said, this is the Arcos 5 Internet Tablet from Arcos, and that's our take on it. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, feel free to leave a comment on the website. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. And we just want to say thank you. And this is Mark from Spantacular.com, and thank you for stopping by.